More central IT infrastructure and tools will be rolled out to aid regular government reviews and address irregularities. Second Minister for Finance Indrani Raja says that the aim is to reduce the risks that are associated with IT and digitalization. This comes after six agencies were flagged by the Auditor General's office in the past five years for recurring lapses. Now, among them, the People's Association and the Education and Health Ministries. The lapses were mainly in areas like procurement and contract management. It would be unrealistic to expect zero lapses. With 150,000 officers in the public service handling hundreds of thousands of transactions each year and more than 2,000 government IT systems built over the years by different vendors and using different technologies, human errors and process gaps will occur from time to time. Given this, what is important, therefore, is that we must have the means to pick up such lapses and address them in an upfront and transparent manner.